What is up? What is up? What is up, YouTube? See, that time I said it right, and I'm in the right place. For those of you that don't know, that's a little thing on Twitter. I always seem to forget to say Twitter and always say YouTube, so you gotta screw that up. Anyway, how's everybody doing? We are about to jump into some NBA 2K23 gameplay. Um, today, we're going to be jumping into uh, Jordan Challenge. Now, I haven't touched the Jordan Challenge uh, mode at all since I've gotten this game. I have played a little bit of my career. Um, I don't know if they show you character out. Nope. But I play a little bit of that, so I got a little bit of experience with the game. But I have no experience playing the game with an actual like good character. Um, I don't really do the microtransaction thing, so I don't have any DC that I've purchased for my character. So I've had to grind for every single damn advancement that my character has had. <laughs> What's good, Nate Dog? I'm doing, I'm doing cool. I'm, or I am cool, I guess. Had much better weeks, but so far so good. Also, I am recording this. I'm planning on turning this into some type of video. I don't have an idea as of yet, but something will end up coming up. But um, yeah, I'm, I finally have access to my damn software again, so I can start editing and stuff and try to get some videos done. Um, if there's any people in here that play 2K or are familiar with 2K, let yourself be known. Let me know what type of builds you like to play with. Let me know um, if you're a part guy, if you're someone that plays my career, if you're somebody that plays my league, or if you're just somebody that does my team, even though I will judge you if you play my team. But Let me turn this fan off. Again, just like with normal uh, stuff, I will be um, running a commercial or an ad every 30 minutes. So, just a, that's just a quick heads up. If I played NBA Live 19, it's currently on Xbox Game Pass and consider getting it the uh, first NBA game you've played. Um, I would personally not recommend uh, NBA Live game. Those games are pretty rough. Um, that being said, the two most recent ones they made were like, okay. They were going in the right direction, but there's a reason why they haven't made one this year because EA does not know how to make a basketball game. You play WWE 2K games on, uh, oh, you only play WWE 2K games. Um, yeah, I got a gameplay of a WWE 2K game that I have on YouTube. Um, I forgot exactly what happened. I think I might have ran into like glitches or something that messed that up. But with that being said, let's just go ahead and jump into this. We're about to play key events in the life of the GOAT, Mr. Michael Jeffrey Jordan. Um, yes, I am a big proponent of Michael Jordan. I let it be known all the time that he is uh, my not only my favorite player, but also the greatest player of all time. What's up, Billard? The last shot. Also, let me know how the audio is, if it's too low or if it needs to be like whatever. The visuals is meant to look like this. They put a filter on it to make it look like it's from the 90s. Yes, both MJs. Both MJs mean a lot to me. 
Michael Jackson and Michael Jordan are probably two or three of the most influential people in my life. You could throw Bruce Lee in there. And we're going to be playing all of these uh, events. Every last one of them we're going to be playing. Then hopefully by the time I get done, my my character will have built up enough VC that I can start a new uh, game. Also, I will be very critical, and uh, for those of you that have, like, wanted to see me rage since forever, just a quick heads up, uh, 2K is the game that normally does it, so if you hear me, like, argue or get upset or something like that, just know that I, I take my 2K very seriously. I know there's probably not a lot of sports fans in here, but basketball is like, it's my favorite sport, period. I wish I had more opportunities to play it. Uh, I, I don't really have the resources to just go and play it whenever I want to, but I really wish I, I did. Because if I, if I could, I'd play basketball like constantly. I have to hold it, but why hold it? Okay, well, I have to win the game. I have to score 16 points and I have to get nine rebounds. Winning the game, getting 16 points, that's not a problem. The nine rebounds could be an issue. Michael Jordan had hair. <laughs> No, there's a lot of people that saw Michael Jordan in Space Jam first. When I was a kid, I wasn't big into sports. So I didn't know anything about Michael Jordan other than he was a basketball player. Like, that was it. John and Alicia may come through today. I'm not sure, though. I haven't uh, heard from them yet. Okay, now, question. You see how the video looks. There's what's called an error filter. Now, I can turn that off like this, or I can keep it on. Now, which one would y'all rather have? Because if you keep it on, it's more of an immersive experience where it's like you're watching the game as if it was... Uh, 1982, but if you turn it off, then it's like, okay, you're, I guess it'd be like if you were at the game. So I guess it's really up to y'all, like whatever experience you think you would rather have. Yeah, Michael Jordan was one of those people that was like synonymous with like basketball even if you didn't know anything about basketball if somebody mentioned michael jordan you'd be like oh that's that basketball guy right or you'd at least be like that's that sports guy it's kind of like with bruce lee like you don't have to know what bruce lee does you just know like oh that's that karate guy or martial arts guy you'd be wrong if you said karate but you're in the general direction all right you said you'd rather have the filter on have that uh what's that crt Scan line look going. Well, as the old saying goes, Nate Dog, you're gonna learn today. 
You're going to learn about the greatest player of all time today. Scoop ball. The fucking Geico Caveman. It's Dave. Nah, that's uh, Pete Davidson. <laughs> We got shithead. Kawhi Leonard. Cole from Martin. Sexual chocolate. The man, the myth, the legend. A oh, person I prefer NBA more than WWE. Richard Pryor. <laughs> Currently on parole. Well, this man came straight out of prison. If you want the filter turned off, just go in the comment or go into the live chat and let me know. So far, only thing I've heard is someone say they want it on. So if you want it off, then let me know. Yeah, it's my first time playing with an actual good character. Like I said, the only thing I've played in this game is my career, which is when you make your own character and you have to like start a career from the beginning till when you eventually retire. And in that game, you start off as a very bad character. Like, you have a 60 overall out of 100. And you're one of the worst NBA players in the league. So it's my first time playing with a character that actually has, like, stats. <laughs> a tall Jordan Peele. All right, for those of you that don't know anything about uh, this era of basketball, in college basketball at this time, Patrick Ewing, the guy in the center, number 33 with the blue, is probably the most impactful center or impactful basketball player in uh, Oh, I'm playing with everybody. I didn't realize that. I'm going to have to change the camera angle. Now, I am somebody that normally does the... Uh... I actually prefer to play... Like, broadcast. Like, this style as opposed to the 2K style. So, just a quick heads up for those of you that might get triggered by that. That's just me. I grew up playing broadcast, and this is what I'm used to. Mm. 
Yeah. Wish there was a way I could lock on the Jordan. That way I only play with him. Maybe there's a way to do that. Let me see. Uh, controller settings. Is there really no way to? Nah. Didn't try to pass them. Oh no. Oh. There we go. I'm gonna start streaming more again on YouTube, and is this gonna be a one-time thing? I'm planning on streaming games on YouTube, and I'll do the reactions on Twitch, um, because Twitch ha is a lot more lenient when it comes to the copyright claims and stuff like that. I wanted to try to make the end of the week uh, YouTube gameplay thing, so like maybe Thursday and Friday will be YouTube, and Monday and Tuesday will be Twitch. Um, Because I'm doing this today, though, I'm gonna try to go to Twitch tomorrow. Well, you know what? Let's let's just do it. The let's just stick to the schedule. So Thursday and Friday, I'll jump back onto YouTube for this gameplay. Next week, Monday, I'll be jumping back on Twitch, and we'll be doing the live reactions and stuff like that. How about that? Also, Monday, we'll be uh, reacting to a couple of. Gaming conventions that happened recently. I think there was like a Nintendo thing, uh, a Nintendo Direct that happened not too long ago. Ah, it's off. I'm still trying to get the timing of this shot. Uh, I hate when a computer does that. He like jumped over and fouled him. There we go. Oh boy. From what I heard, Patrick Ewing on this game is like nuts. Dude, get away from me. Holy hell. Oh my god, Ewing just shook the shit out of that dude.
Yeah, like I said, the 16 points is going to be easy. The hard part is going to be the... Hard part is going to be the nine rebounds. That was stupid. Ah, damn it. Oh, he made it. Surprising. See, when you play with a bad character, if you don't get, like, a perfect release every time, you will miss. So it's like... I just assumed that was going out. There we go. Got that rebound, baby. Wait, wait, is that James Worthy? What the fuck, damn it? I thought that was Jordan. Damn, I thought that was Jordan. Apologize for this not being related to the game, but how was your sleeping patterns going? Been watching a lot of past streams lately and noticed that come up. Um, My sleeping habits are very interesting. Like one day I wake up at like one in the afternoon. Next day I wake up at like seven in the morning. The day I woke up at nine, I gotta get more like consistent. See, my problem is I have this thing, and I saw that like online. It's it's called like um, I think it's called like revenge sleep procrastination or something like that. Where it's like you will stay up because you know that when you go to sleep and wake up, you have to get back to work. So it's like you're trying to milk as much time as you can while you're woke because you know once you go to sleep and wake up, you'll have to do work again. So it's like you keep pushing stuff off or you keep pushing sleep off. That's my biggest problem. I, I just need to get more disciplined. Yeah, you ain't take you ain't using that screen, bruh. Damn it. See that spin, though? Mm. Mm. It's like when you eat something sour, he's like, mm. Come on, baby, I need those rebounds. There 
There we go. James Worthy. The man that looks like a convicted felon out there. Ah, come on, Jordan. Why are you running right behind me for? Just a quick heads up, Joram was not playing as good in the real game. <laughs> he wasn't. <laughs> yes, another rebound. Darn it. Also, I'm playing on default settings, whatever the default settings where I didn't like go to options or anything other than other than to change the menu music. I, I will throw it up to Hall of Fame when I get a challenge that doesn't involve rebounds, because <laughs> I know if I turn this to Hall of Fame, I will not get nine rebounds and I'm not even going to like restart because these games take enough time as it is. This is almost too easy, though. Like, I wish I was there as well. I can, like, raise the difficulty, but keep the rebounds where they are. James Worthy out here doing work. Man might look like one of those. He might look like one of those flying monkeys from Wizard of Oz, but can't say he can't ball. And when I say he looks like that, I'm talking about his uh his game model. Ugh. Oh boy, damn it. James Worthy, I need you to relax on the defense. I need rebounds, man. You're playing too damn good. Calm down. If you don't play uh, basketball, let me know what your game of choice is. I know a lot of people out there play like FIFA. Some of you might play Madden. Let me know if you do have a sports game that you're interested in playing. Boy is 
Yeah, this is too damn easy. <laughs> this is too damn easy. What's the settings on? Because the default setting should be like... Uh, pro. It's on rookie. Yeah, that's that's the problem right there. Yeah, let's get it on pro. I was wondering, like, why the hell... Normally it starts off on pro. Oh my god. <laughs> he just bullied the shit out of me. <laughs> What's good, Rebels? Welcome. Ugh, foul. Foul me. No, that's my rebound. The hell was that? Ah, that should have been my. That should have been it. I forgot this fucking game don't have a damn shot clock. So I can just keep passing like this until whenever they're satisfied. It's going to take fucking forever. Holy hell, come on. Trying to do a spin shot, but I guess it didn't work when I was in that position. I didn't know Patrick Ewing was a a freshman in this game. I mean, I knew Jordan was, but oh, I got it. See, it was me and Patrick going for that rebound, so I just assumed that I uh, didn't get it. Look at this mismatch. <laughs> It's complete and utter mismatch. Damn it, foul.
Oh my gosh. He's got spiked. There we go. That should be like at least six rebounds. They can't stop him. They can only hope to contain him. Oh, boy. Thanks for jinxing me. Now she's always got to say some shit. They haven't missed a shot all game so far. Yeah. You know what? I'm just going to stop going up for rebounds when Patrick Ewan has the ball in his hands because it seems like you know, that's just the right thing to do. Ah. There you go. Nice recovery on that one. Got it. Ah. Get to Jordan. Oh, boy. He made it. That was a close one. That <laughs> I had, like, this much space to hit that. That was not great shot selection. Do not lie to the crowd like that. Ah, damn it. Yes, another rebound. How many rebounds I got? Seven. So need two more. That was such a Jordan move. You see that? That was such a Jordan move. That little stutter step hezzy. Look at that. Uh, 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 uh. Pull up from mid range. Uh. Oh, baby. That dunk. <laughs> oh, you're right. There should have been a, an ad. I try to do it every 30 minutes. Uh, one second. I'm going to run an ad. I will be, well, some of you might get an ad. Some of you might not. I, I have no idea how ads work on YouTube exactly, but whatever. Here comes an ad. <laughs> That's a bad play by me. I took a gamble. Don't go for the highlight making steal. Just stay in front of your guy. Yes. There we go. Got my nine rebounds. Oh, boy. I was bad. I didn't want him to pull up like that. Oh, boy. He could have shook the hell out of me if he wanted to. Uh-oh. Jordan got a fast break. Oh, uh, baby. That rocked the cradle. Oh. Uh. I thought that was going to be a steal. It was close.
Oh boy. I was about to say that could have been a flagrant, but I don't think they had flagrant fouls back in this day. Another cradle. This time with the two hands. Yeah, right now we're kicking ass. See, in real life, this game's supposed to be close, and you're supposed to hit a game-winning shot. You know what? Since I already got my objectives, let's go ahead and ramp up the difficulty. Who Hall of Fame? Alicia. What's good, Alicia? We're here to witness the greatness that is Michael Jordan. We just can't stop Patrick Ewan. Dude's a monster. You got to foul him. Because you can't stop him. <laughs> yes, YouTube does feel so much different than Twitch. Oh, boy, I'm at. That's the only bad thing about using the broadcast camera. You can't really see too far ahead of you. But I have to use it because I, like, my perception sucks when I use the other camera angles. Oh, wow. Now the Hoyas with it. Here's Boyd. Back to McRae. Here's Boyd. Now here's Duncan. The pass to Boyd. Enjoying a McChicken sandwich. Ah! James Worthy brought his defender to me. I would have probably had that if... I would have probably had that if the, my teammate wouldn't have been dumb enough to bring his defender down there. They just keep fouling and stuff. Jordan's about to finish with like 50 points. <laughs> if this real life, he'd be a legend like immediately after this. In real life, Jordan didn't really have a remarkable game. He just, this game is so significant for Jordan because he hit the game winning shot. Like that's, that's the big moment out of this game. To the basket, Jordan. Go to the basket. Why would you run behind him for? The computer sucks when it comes to trying to get open. Please, why the hell am I running out there for? 
Mark Cuban's going to hit a three pointer. There we go. The assist. He said Nightbot's not working. I I don't know what's up with Nightbot. One second, let me check and make sure. Oh, Nightbot actually doesn't have the commands. Um, I'm gonna have to try to see if I can maybe use um. What's it called? Uh, Cloudbot from Streamlabs. If this thing would freaking open. It's taking a minute to load. Um, Cloudbot. Okay, so I did activate CloudBot, but I don't know if it's going to be active or not. Because sometimes it doesn't work if you try to do all this like after the uh, the stream started. So I don't know. Hopefully it works, but if it doesn't, then it's whatever. I'll be streaming again on Thursday. By then, Nightbot will be working. Hmm. I wonder what that was. Yeah, see, it's it's acting funny. I don't know if it'll activate. Oh boy, Patrick Ewan with those long ass arms. Okay, it did work. Cool. It just takes longer on YouTube for some reason. It's like. On YouTube, it like it takes a minute to activate that type of stuff. Ah, damn it! I didn't realize we had the ball. I was just trying to defend the damn inbounds. He still greened it in my face. This young man can carry the load for you offensively. And he can do it all night. Here's Jordan. He takes it in. Quick force it on the bounce. Michael Jordan. That stutter stuff is deadly. I mean, you got to foul him. <laughs> Ewing is going to make that shot. With his damn orthopedic knee pads. I'm going to have to uh, lower the time as well for the next game. This game is way longer than it needs to be. Like, I finished the objectives in the first half. I still got a whole other half of basketball to play. God damn! We didn't become the damn Detroit Pistons. All the damn fouling. <laughs> the 
Those Ewing rules. I refuse to believe he's over here green lighting all these damn shots. I'm only guaranteed if I look at. I knew that was going to happen. I have a feeling if I look at Ewing's stats for his like free throws, I'm willing to guarantee it's not. Ah, I should have been in. I'm willing to guarantee Ewing's free throw is not that high. Ah, I wanted him to dunk on him. I wanted to dunk on him so bad. Ah, damn it. I was trying to switch over to the point guard. I should have just did... Excuse me. <laughs> I should have did the command buttons. Jordan has 51 points. Why did you go behind the guy? Oh, boy. The computer is... The computer is stupid. The computer is very, very stupid. He went right behind the damn defender. I think he ain't get blocked. That was kind of a... Uh, that was kind of a dumb shot. I gotta look at that again. That did not look like a reaching in foul. Let me see. Boom. Okay, did I hit anything? Did I hit anything? No. I literally did not touch him at all. There was no contact. That is that is garbage. You said foosball, like the table with the twisting knobs and the little men on the sticks? Oh boy, they fouled the hell out of me. Jordan's about to have 63 in the college game. <laughs> Don't worry, like I said, the, the future games are not going to be this long. They're calling a foul on everything. This is This is getting crazy. Ah, that was a foul. That was a foul. They didn't call that. Oh, boy. 
Don't worry. If I saw Patrick Ewan barreling down on me too, I would also run. Bad pass. Uh. I didn't. I didn't push the button that time. He just fouled him. Told you out here playing jail ball, James Worthy. Ah, why'd he stop? Ah, I don't know why he stopped like that. Oh my god. Oh, you said you meant soccer, okay. Hey, anytime I think of anytime I hear the word foosball, I only think of two things. Foosball tables and water boy. That's it. Ah, come on. The Warriors with a steal. They've racked up a few of those already. Here's Boyd, covered by Perkins. What is with the fouling? I have no idea why they're fouling him so hard. Well, Rebels, that would also explain why Americans aren't into foosball because, uh, as you know, America is a, is a very Christian-like nation. And after all, foosball is the devil. Or so I've heard. I saw that cut coming. Ah, boy. Come on with the cuts. Patrick Ewan just dunked, dunked on Michael Jordan. Ah, why did he stop? Come on, Dave, you got this. James, t park that damn jailhouse ball on, like where it belongs. Stop fouling the shit out of the other team. Just because you look like a damn convicted 
fell into me. You got to play like one. You got to love those cradle dunks. Another ad. All right, I'll do it after we score one more time. That's all. Oh my God, no. Damn it. <laughs> Ewing and his godlike powers. I definitely double tapped the damn shoot button. He should have done a spin. You ain't getting no closer than this, Ewing. Damn it! <laughs> Where the hell is Jordan going? Holy hell, that shot is like non-existent. I mean, I know at this point in his career, Jordan wasn't the greatest shooter, but he had still had a good mid-range. Give me that. There we go. I'll take an ad after that uh <laughs> that little um again jailhouse move. Where am I at? Where am I at? Where am I at? Damn it, I keep going up. There we go. Um All right, here comes an ad. Ah, damn it. Too soon. Ah, how did I not get that rebound? Holy hell. Hey, see you later, Rebels. Oh, come on, man. The computer is so garbage. I don't know why he hit the bottom of the damn backboard with that shot. I had him in a good position. Rebound. Green. Green. 
Ugh. That should be me. Ah, they keep fouling the hell out of me. Yeah, 67 points. Good thing. I had no idea Ewing was coming out of nowhere with that one. Why the hell is he not spinning? It said that double tapping the shoot button would make you do a spin jump shot. He has yet to do a spin jump shot. I have no idea what's going on with it. Sixty nine points for Michael Jordan in college. The Hoyas trail by seventeen. Man, it's that tough. Pass to Jefferson. Now Ewing. Man, it's that tough. Pass to Jeffrey. Ah, damn it, I didn't think he was going to do a jump shot right there. I thought he was going to go to the basket for like a layup or something. What? He had the ball super exposed. There's no way... Jordan shouldn't have came away with the steal on that one. Like he had the ball exposed. There we go. Get it all in your face. Facial, baby. Uh, they didn't let me switch until the last second. Dude, you got to make that cut. Hold up, the game like teleported me back to where I was. I had already gotten past him. I was back, at, uh, went to the post, drop step, boom, right here. I am open. He should have went around with a reverse layup or something. But instead, the game like literally stopped me where I'm at and like teleported me back over here. Also, they got Jordan with the tongue out. <laughs> Here's Bain. A tip. Ah, I should have got that still. From ten feet out. And it's Barnett with the rebound. Tar Heels leading by 19 points. Here's McLaughlin. Jordan outside. What? I have no idea what what's going on. I have no idea what's going on. The the game is making me do dumb shit. Look. He should have kept going straight baseline. There's nobody over here. That's what I wanted him to do. Just keep going this way and like lay it up, but instead 
like as soon as I pushed the button, he came over here and went like in front of the guy. What? Oh boy. Like the game sometimes make your character do dumb shit. And this is what I'm talking about. Like he should have kept going straight behind this person and just did like a layup or something. But instead the game made me go in front of him. Oh boy. There we go. He went so damn slow. Oh my god, this dude sucks at free throws. Whew. Made it. <laughs> that was luck. That was 100% luck. League, we're in college. Pass to Jeffries. Takes over Adams. They grab their own miss. Shot by Gordon. Wide open. Mm. Yeah, that would have been three points if you were in the NBA right now, but you're not. I was about to double tap the damn shoot button, but I forgot. This game for some reason doesn't. Doesn't think it's okay to have a spin jump shot, I guess. Ugh. Made that one now. How many points do I have? 74 points. Holy hell. I'm supposed to only, I only need a 16. This game has so many damn fouls. <laughs> uh, six more seconds. Just six seconds and the game's over. Just hold the ball. There we go. These am. <laughs> Jordan had like 75 points. Hmm. <laughs> That is crazy. Finished with 74 points. <laughs> what was my overall stat line? All right, 74 points, 11 rebounds, six assists, four steals, one turnover, three fouls. Dzam. <laughs> All right, like I said, I'm gonna have to shorten the the minutes for the games because it's it's a bit much right now. <laughs> All right, so the next objective got next 1984 U.S. Uh, team versus the NBA All Stars. As a warm-up for the 1984 Olympics, Michael Jordan leads an all-amateur 1984 team USA squad to victory over a collection of NBA stars in front of a record crowd in Indianapolis, Indiana. Uh, Indiana. Now, the thing is, for those of you that are Jordan fans and have been going back and forth with uh, LeBron fans in regards to um, who the GOAT is, a lot of times you hear people bring up arguments saying stuff like, well, Jordan got swept by the Celtics. Jordan couldn't do anything in the 80s. He uh, kept getting beat and he couldn't win until everybody retired. Well, Jordan didn't have a good team around him. The reason we know this is because in games like this, where Jordan has other people that are not even just on his level, but just competent enough, he can beat the best NBA players that you that you bring to him. The team that I'm about to go up against, the NBA All-Stars, has the entire starting five lineup for the Boston Celtics on it. 
Jordan, I think the only real noteworthy people in this game were Jordan, Patrick Ewan, Chris Mullins. Uh, I might be overlooking someone else, but if you just give Jordan some decent teammates, he can win. And this ain't like a one-off game either. This is this exhibition was a series. I think they played eight games total, and the USA team beat the NBA team every single game. Like I said, you put give Michael Jordan a team, he's going to win. Even against those 80 Celtics teams, he could have beat them if he had a decent team around him. Or 12 points, win by 15 or more. Ooh. Winning by 15 could be kind of difficult. Chris Mullen. I've shortened the games also, so the game shouldn't be as long as it was last time. Should be close to about half that. Is it time for another ad? Nope, not yet. About 10 minutes. Oh my god, the, the, the head is back. Like Curly from the Globetrotters. That's funny. You can tell who the generic ass people are and who the real people are. <laughs> okay, so Chuck Person is a, a, a decent player. <laughs> See, when I start my mock career, that's when we can start bringing out the shovels and stuff. Justin Bieber. <laughs> Nay, dog, Alicia said you're slipping. What's your explanation for this? This <laughs> Wayman Tinsdale. Yep. Hey, you can't say the word shovel and bury too loud. Otherwise, uh, Triple H comes jumping out of your mirror. They didn't do an introduction for the NBA players? I was hoping they'd do an introduction of the NBA players so people can see who the U.S. team was going up against. 
Isaiah Thomas, Maddie Johnson, Larry Bird, Kevin McHale, Robert Parrish, Dennis Johnson, uh, Danny Ainge. Um, who are the other ones? Was it Adrian Dantley, maybe? I, I'm, I have to stop and think. It's all good. I'm not sure what uh, the issue is exactly. I mean, YouTube kind of has the delay thing every once in a while. Oh, no, Nate Dog. Triple H was the one known for burying people with his golden shovel. Oh, boy, I pushed the button way late. Okay. Well, if you're going to stand there, I'm not going to. Dude, get in your guy. Well, there shouldn't be a three second in the key uh, violation. So I shouldn't have to worry about leaving the paint. Ah, come on. They are fouling the shit out of me. <laughs> it seems like turning it on the Hall of Fame, all it did was cause the computer to just hack. That's off. Oh, boy. Our big man just left the paint completely. Oh boy, I'm I'm jumping all over the place. Ah, come on with the fouls, man. They're fouling the hell out of these guys. Come on. Uh, I got to play smart. I got to actually run some plays. At least some basic stuff, pick and rolls and whatnot. Jordan with the con versus. That has to hurt. <laughs> Okay, Mark Aguirre is who I was thinking of. I said Adrian Dantley. Yes, give me that block. No! <laughs> Are you serious? He missed that? Oh, come on. I told him to do a crossover, man. He like hesitated on that crossover. Ah, oh, he made that. He made that. Ah, oh, come on, man. There we go. Jordan doesn't have to score all the time. Oh, 
I could be wrong, but I'm sure this game had a three-point line. Come on, Jordan, where are you going? What are you doing? I don't know why Jordan was just standing next to me like that. Ah, stop hacking them. You're just giving them free shots. Oh, wow. Is that John or Jim Paxson? I don't know. Yeah, Jim Paxson. Um, I don't know if he's related to John Paxson or not. He probably is. Ah, why did he do that? The game keeps doing that where I'm trying to like run to a specific like lane. Like I'm trying to go baseline, which is over here. Like, see, I, I got baseline right here, but then as soon as I push the button, the game like warps me or just makes me stop completely and try to do this, do this shit. And there's no reason he should have done that. Oh boy. Mikhail got him in the spin cycle. Ah. Kevin Mikhail's too good down there. Come on. Ah, come on, man. When I get that bar up, it should go in. There we go, Patrick Ewan, hell yeah. Why did he pass to him? I was aiming at Jordan. Come on, Pat. Ah, come on, Pat. He didn't even do a drop step, though. I want him to do a drop step. That's probably him. No, it's not. Ooh, yes. They are hacking the shit out of me. So the points are easy. The points I can get all day. It's the secondary objectives that are a bit tougher. Got to beat them by 16 points. That means I got to stop them a number of times. Ah, right, why did he run past them for? There we go. That should have been a foul. Thank you. Time for an ad now. <laughs> I appreciate it, Nate. All right, now can I win by 16? I got to get some steals and some blocks. Ah. 
Gotta get some stops. Ah, my teammate, man. Why'd you run across like that? There we go. My teammates got to give me some space. They keep trying to, like, stand next to me. All it does is cause their defender to run up on me. Ah. Over. I need someone to do something. Oh, my gosh. Man, this is crazy. Holy hell, like this is. I might have to actually lower the settings because there's no way I'm gonna be able to beat these dudes by 16. At least not on the first try. They're not even boxing out. <sighs> ah, damn it. I still suck on the release, though. There we go. Nice stop, Jordan. What are you doing? Stop running in front of me. Why the hell did he go that far back? Yeah, I'm going to have to lower the settings. This is ridiculous. Let's do All-Star. Like, I have no idea why they keep making me... Go in these spots that don't make no sense. Like, I'm trying to drive to the basket, and he keeps stopping to either pull up on a jump shot or he'll do this stupid release that causes him to draw a foul or something. What the hell was it? That's what I'm talking about. Why did he pull up right there? I was not expecting a jump shot. I was expecting him to, like, do a layup or a dunk or something. Oh, man, come on. Where's... Come on, Jordan, come over here. Why is his release so bad? He just bully badged me. I think he just bullied me. Are you serious? Ah, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Holy hell, what was that? That's open. That is what. How did you miss that? Thank you, Kevin. Now, I have found something that most teams coach would agree on. They think that these days are the best possible way to simply look at the hoop and predict national competition. The NBA stars are among, if not the best players in the world. So, who better to challenge their very skills than these coaches together to prove it? I see that. 
Why are my computer allies leaving them so wide open? I have no idea why they're leaving them so open. Ah, that should have been a steal. Oh, get in front of him. Get in fr what are you doing? Get in front of him. Holy hell. Come on. Pass the ball. What the hell was that move? Oh my god, I'm gonna have to lower the setting even more. Just as much noise as these fans are in the building. And now we can enjoy it together. Me, Mike Hart, and all of you. There we go. That's it. Oh, why is my team so slow? Give me the foul on that one. They ain't giving me any fouls at all. Good thing he made that. I did not want him to do that shot. I don't know why the game just stops you from doing layups. Like, just do a regular layup. Ah, damn it. I gambled. Ah, that should have been a steal. Dude, stop standing next to me. Oh my gosh. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Let's come on, let's go. See, I still suck when it comes to jump shots. This game. This game, there's a lot less gray area with jump shots. It's like you either have to do a green release or... Why is he not doing drop steps? There we go. Drop step. Come on. Ah, come on, give me those steals. I'm right there on them. Takes a lot of confidence, a lot of 
What kind of rebound was that, man? Come on, get it, get, get, get running, get running. Come on, Mullins. Ah, bullshit. Even Mullins' shot is like microscopic. I don't know if maybe it was because he was guarded or what, but it was like the, the 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 release window for that shot was like microscopic. Dude, don't just run off your damn assignment like that. There we go. That's the layups I've been trying to get you to do all damn day. Ah, that's Larry Bird. He's he's gonna knock those down. I gotta really outscore these dudes in order to win this. Ah, damn it. Oh, give me a screen. Give me a screen. Ah, oh, my gosh. The jump shots on this game are so tough. See, if I had the jump shots down, I'd easily be able to win these, but... The jump shooting on this game for me is crazy. Come on, man. Ah, try to get that steal. Also wish there was a way for me to just lock on to Jordan. I'm not trying to play with the whole team. Ah. I could have sworn I should have got that rebound. Well, no, I'm kind of out of it. Maybe I should have got that rebound. That should have been me. I got two hands on him. He only got one. I should have snatched that shit right out of his hand. Oh, boy. Well, the question isn't whether I can beat them. The question is, will I be able to beat them by 16? Ah, oh, come on. The computer keeps letting them get uh, boxed out. I'm going to go to the back. Oh my God, why did he not go to the basket? He's wide open. He has the entire damn lane to himself. Why didn't he just go straight? Just go straight. Why are you coming over here? Oh boy. Yeah, I'm gonna have to lower the damn sentence even further. You have to literally walk them through the, matter of fact, I might have to restart. Like you have to literally walk them through the simplest of stuff. Ah, oh, 
speaks to the quality of the players on these two squads. These are all true contenders. The hell was that? Is Bird out here flopping? Hitting me with that turnaround. He's coming back around. He's coming back around. I'm expecting a lot of high intensity, high effort play for both sides to be pushing themselves to be at their best. Good on the bucket. Excellent focus by Aguirre to convert through the contact there. That's one of the things that I think makes him such a great scorer. And here's the new offense. But there's so much to be excited about watching this unique matchup. I thought it was going to hit it. Uh, so let me get the point guard. Ah, uh, say I got to work on my jump shot. My jump shot is ass. At least not working my jump shot, but working my like timing. Well, that's going to be interesting, David. Thank you. I don't know what to expect from tonight's game, Mike. It's, it's going to be fascinating to watch. To me, that comes as no surprise. No matter the time. I got a break on that one. You always want to play your very best against the best, correct? I say, give me that foul. Yeah, this is like, it's not really courtside seats. It's like, I don't know. It has, it, it comes off very 80s Olympics. That's what it comes off as. Oh, got me on that one. Oh my gosh. Hmm. Three second call. Are you serious? Oh, hold up, one second. No, 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 no. Is there a way to turn it off? Ah, oh, I can't turn off three seconds. That's garbage. There's no way in hell this game had three seconds in the key at that time. That rule did not exist at this point. Damn, teammates doing these stupid, unnecessary fouls. Damn it, you gotta... You gotta hit the damn screen at the right side. I thought he was gonna do the right, but he went to the left instead. Jordan was 
Come on, he's just sitting there dribbling. That, uh... What's Jordan Steele's stat? He should have been able to easily uh, knock that off of him. Okay, Steele, Steele, Steele. It's a 98. How the hell you have a 98 and dude's just sitting there in front of him with a ball and he can't get the damn steal? That's garbage. The game stopped me from going around him. The game literally stopped me from going around him. Ah, come on, move. Ah, how the hell you fumble that pass? <laughs> the game's a cheater. Ah, I threw it to Mullen. Come on, Mullen's a shooter. Let me let me get that. Ah, that's that screen sucked, Patrick. That was a garbage screen. It's like it made me slide around him. There we go. That's in. That's that better be in. That was a perfect release. Come on, get in front of him. There we go. You got to take that up quick, real quick. Did you just hit the ball out of bounds? Ah, that should have been a steal. What the hell was that? Oh, my God. Every time I try to steal from the passing lane, he does some stupid steal animation that has... There we go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Like, give me the animation. Give me the right animations. Are you serious? <laughs> I gotta let the rightful man get a couple shots off. There we go. He took it. He took the shot too soon. There you go. Go to the basket. Hell yeah. See? Gotta make those cuts. Come 
Ah, damn it. My teammate came to help out. I thought he was going to stick to him. I was trying to switch over to the open guy. I was about to say the three, but there's no three-point line. <laughs> ah, come on, man. I didn't even want that. I was trying to go to the basket. This game... I don't know, it's like it has this weird movement system where it's like every time you try to change direction, your character like loses all momentum and you have to like start over again. I don't know how that wasn't a foul. That should have been a foul, but whatever. I ain't gonna complain. There we go. Ah. I was too far. Away. Oh, 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 damn it. <laughs> I thought I had to steal. I was too far away to pick that la uh, that first one. There we go. Mine, 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 mine. Ah, damn it. Oh, that was too trigger happy. Why does he always fumble the... There we go. Nice move. I don't know why he always fumbles the damn pass. I'm trying to get Mullins some shots up, but... That's if that was even Mullins. It was a violation. We got the ball back, but this is what I'm talking about when I say, like, See, the thing is, 2K has this thing with animations. And a lot of times, depending on what animations get picked when you push a button, can determine whether you're successful or not when it comes to what you're trying to do, like stealing the ball, getting the rebound, uh, layups, things like that. Now, I got the animation where I got the steal, which is great. But the game literally prevents me from being able to go around him to get the, the ball. Like He's just sitting there. I'm sitting here moving the stick trying to go, but because I'm still stuck in this animation, I can't do anything. So I have to sit here and watch as the guy just gets the damn ball. Oops, I actually turned off the filter. There we go. Also, another thing that I want to address real quick. They they suck when it comes to... Damn it. They suck when it comes to picking Jordan's dunk animations. Like, Jordan didn't... Jordan wasn't just free throw line dunks and cradle dunks. Matter of fact, the majority of Jordan's dunks were like leaning forward, one hand type of dunks. And I don't know why he like hardly has any of those. Like he barely does like one hand leaning dunks, even though that was the dunk he did a majority of his career. Hopefully they'll fix it one day. They fixed his layups, so maybe they'll fix his dunks. Oof, right in his face. In the face. That boy good. Got it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and run a quick ad. I will see you guys in just a little bit. Well, I don't know when I'm going to see you. Like I said, I don't know what the ads for YouTube, like how it works. See, on Twitch, I can pick how long the ad is. Here, I can't, so. Maybe you get something good, maybe you don't. Big man, you got to come over. I know they got the three second uh, in the paint rule, which should not exist right now, but I still need you in the middle. 
asking and Griff and insisting on being aggressive looking for a shot. Pass to Perry. That game really took me completely out of that play. Chris, y'all here? Yes, there you are. There we go. I guess I'm trying to get some other players spotlight. It's kind of tough when they suck at It's tough when they suck at getting themselves open. We have spam. You can't stop him. You can only hope to contain him. I mean, they've been putting Jordan in the game for like the... Ah, that should have been a steal. They've been putting Jordan in the game for the last, like, over a decade. They should have it down by now. I don't know why nobody's talked to him and said, like, hey, you, your Jordan's dunk pack package is nothing but stuff he did in dunk contests. Like, he doesn't really dunk the same way. Woo! Ah, the game didn't let me get the ball. It's, it's just a bot. Ah, left him open. I mean, they're still losing by 17, but... I just lost him on that one. Ah, oh boy. Eighties players don't normally do that. Ah, come on, Jordan. You got to make that. Uh, he's way too far out. Come on, man. That was lucky. He could have easily stolen the ball when I kicked it inside like that. He was already beat by the time I switched to him. Ah, come on. Damn it. I, I keep gambling on that. He's going to, I knew he was going to pass on the inside. Can't get careless with the lead. Both 
Dude, they can do spinning jump shots. I'd love to be able to do that. Why did he... It's like my character cannot do layups. Every time I try to do a layup, he stops and pulls up. Now, if you have the lane, I'm aiming at the basket and pushing the shoot button. Do a layup. See, the one thing NBA Live had that I did like was back in NBA Live 9 and NBA Live 10, they had dedicated buttons for layups and shots. So you know when you do a layup because you just push the layup button. If you want to take a shot, you push the shoot button. I wish they would incorporate that into the game because right now layup and shots are on the same and button. And if you're intending to do a layup, sometimes he'll pull up for a jump shot instead. Um, no, not really. It's not really a way to stop it because, oh, that was contested as hell. But there's, it's like, it's like bot farms that just like create a billion accounts. Why? Why? Why are they making me do this? Why? I have the lane. I'm telling him to go for the dunk. Why did it make me stop and pull up like this? But this is what I mean when I say, like, whenever you, like, do something different, like, when I'm running in one direction, that's fine. But the second I tell them to do something different, like, switch direction or take a shot or something, it's like my momentum completely dies. Like, it's like I ran into a wall right there. Now, you see what I mean? He ran into a wall and stopped himself. I don't know why it's doing that. And that wasn't a problem with last year's game. Last year's game... The movement wasn't quite as, like, stiff as this game's. The game has some fluidity when it comes to, like, some of the animations in between, but the movement by itself is, like, very stiff. Are you serious? Are you serious, man? <laughs> The game is determined to give him those points. Ah, come on, go, go for the shot. There we go. Come on, get it, get it, get it, get it. There we go. Yes. Hell yeah, there we go. That's how you do it. There we go. Yeah, so I was about to say, if you're going to go on a web, uh, not web, into emails and stuff like that, do not click any links. And another thing, make sure that you have uh, images and media disabled. Because if you click onto an ad or you click onto an email and you see a like a picture or something, you can still get a virus through a picture. So make sure that by default you have that stuff set like to turn off, like where you have to manually... Um, allow it to open up like images and stuff. There we go. 
I wanted so badly to get these other people some points, but they just do not. <laughs> like, they don't, like, try to get open at all. There we go. Chris Mullen got a shot in. Ah, damn it. I, I was right there. He should have got that rebound. He was literally right at the damn basket. He didn't move forward. Ah. See, I gotta get, I gotta get used to shooting. I really have to get used to shooting. Like I said, I'm so used to playing with my my character, and because my character sucks so bad in so many stats, I don't take jump shots. <laughs> so I'm still getting used to like releasing the ball. And like I said, this game ain't like last year's game where it's like. Last year's game, you do slightly early releases or slightly late releases, you still have a decent chance of making a shot. This game, you do slightly early or slightly late, you got like a 20% chance of hitting it. See, like even that high, like even that close to the green still is like a nope. Oh boy, he got that. Nobody went back and tried to... What the hell was that? <sighs> We're going to watch that again. First of all, bad pass. I don't know why the hell he threw it all the way over there. I wanted to... I was trying to pass to number four. But for some reason, the game made me throw it all the way down here. Luckily, Jordan was able to catch it, but then Jordan made an extremely boneheaded move. He hit the bottom of the backboard. Ugh. Come on, you gotta let me get up again. Yes, that was a good play. Sure, with that first step. <laughs> Here's well, technically, they haven't played pro yet. They're still college athletes. But that being said, they play like they never played basketball before.
Ah, I thought I was going to get the steal on that one. Where are we going? Come on, he's just standing there. He wasn't protecting the ball or anything. He was just standing there. That's a foul. That was a foul. Are you serious? I can see like maybe this part being a foul, but I wasn't pushing any buttons at this point. This is when I pushed the button to contest and that's when they called the foul. Why did you stop like that? The guy was behind you. Why did you feel the need to stop? There we go. Get that steal. Come on. Give me that steal. There we go. Am I playing with the head right now? It's a bad shot. Well, I need some. I need a big man back. Persons is a, a hitter himself. There we go. Boom. The rifle man. I don't know who the hell this bald headed ass dude I'm playing with now is. Got a head like Tommy Pickles. Jordan should be way faster than that. Oh, this damn passing. Places the burst. Pass to Whitman. Here's Buckner. He stopped the strike. Yes, Larry Bird. But I don't I don't know what the hell they were thinking when they made the rules for these uh retro games. Like they don't got a shot clock, but they got three seconds in the paint. What? Ah, come on, Jordan. You gotta make those reverses. That's your thing. That was a late read. Ah. But yeah, Jordan's whole thing is reverse layups. He needs to hit those reverse layups. Read. 
There has to be a middle ground for difficulty. Let's go back to pro. Because I'm now I'm beating him by too much. Trying to find a sweet middle ground. There we go. There you go. That's how you do that. When I tell you to do a layup, that's what I'm looking for. I don't know who Grant is. Alright, come on, man. You're going to... Come on. Longer. That's off. Oh, boy. Robert Parrish is big old ass. Alright, so we got the three challenges. Next up, I think, is... The Jordan 63 point game against the Celtics. Now that could be tough, but I think I'm going to be playing with a possibly higher ranked Michael Jordan. So that should be, it shouldn't be as hard. I get six assists. That's not too tough. 63 points, 6 assists. See, the thing about this game is the Bulls had a chance to win this game. Um, I think it was in the first overtime. Jordan got fouled uh, taking a three-point shot um, towards the end of that overtime. But back then, if you get fouled taking a three, you don't get three uh, field, uh, free throws. You get two. And he knocked down both of them, which tied the game. If he was able to get three free throws, he, they could have got the lead, and that could have, they would have probably won with that. But at the same time, that meant Jordan probably wouldn't have uh, said the volume's really low. Uh, let me see. Hopefully that'll fix it. And my audio, it doesn't get drowned out, maybe. Some parts of the game is just naturally quiet, though. Offensive Celtics had no answer 
for him as he went for 49 points. We'll see if they keep looking his way as they try to even up this series. And the Bulls will start with Charles Oakley and Dave Corzine at the 4 and 5. And in the point will be Kyle Macy. And on the wings, it's the fearsome duo of Michael Jordan and the Iceman, George Gervin. And the Celtics Hornet front court, Bird and McHale at the forward, with Robert Parrish in the middle. The backcourt pairing for them, Dennis Johnson and Danny Ainge. Jordan got his first pair of Air Jordans on right now. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> they keep on doing this thing. Rock cannot get rebounds. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure exactly what else I could do. Um, well, actually, I can raise it more. It's just I don't really have a lot of control over it. Let's see. Now, I can raise the gain a bit, but. I don't know, like, it might be too loud, though, I don't know. Because what you guys hear and what I hear is different. Oh, my God. Oakley isn't a great... Oakley isn't a great offensive player. But I was hoping he'd be able to get something out of that. Why is my stipulation that I have to win the game? Come on, man. Uh, this is what I mean when I change the the difficulty from semi pro to pro. It's like the jump shot just completely disappears. Like the sliver that I have to hit, like to make a jump shot, is like three times smaller. I'm not sure why I have to win the game when the Bulls lost this game in real life. Go. Ah, where Jordan, where are you at? Have to appreciate this kind of effort. Yeah, you see some guys mail in the contest out there. Not him. He's gonna compete through the entire play. Now here's Jordan. There we go. Come on. Oakley kicks to Jordan. Shoots over Ames. That's good. There we go. Come on now. Give me those releases. Jordan's got his second basket. If I get that damn bar up, I need to be able to I need to be hitting those shots bad enough how damn small the damn thing is. Johnson finds McHale. Now here is Bird. There we go. Give me that. And stolen by Gervin. And Jordan with 49 points the last game. Mark, any chance you think he'll match that? Oh, where is Jordan? There we go. Comfortable betting against Michael Jordan, no. Kevin. This guy is so good and so amazing. He's got the skill and the will to do it. I think a lot of all right, I'll run an ad real quick, and then we'll jump back into the game. Ah. That's what I mean. Like, look how close I was to the top. But that only gave me a 10% chance of making it. Like, there's no in-between on this game. Uh. 
And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in the first quarter. Well, why did he step back like that? Ah, damn it, Dave. Uh, my teammate cut me off right there. Come on, give me that. Give me it. Ah. I better get this. And it's the Bulls with the ball. And the Bulls Ooh, rough. were able to stay with the Celtics in game one. It was within reach until the fourth quarter, but fell 123 to 104. And you know, it really came down to the experience. Probably shouldn't have made that. Huge advantage for them. This is a group of championship players, and they had one of the best regular seasons ever as well. Here's Johnson following the basket by Michael Jordan. Again, missing. Usually, guys, he's going to knock that one down from there. Proficient at operating in that. How many points do I have? Nine. I'm gonna have to score like crazy because I don't have a lot of time to do it. That is not Casey Jones. Ah, come on. Also gotta get six assists. I just I don't know if I have enough time. But the first quarter is already about to be over. Ah. That wasn't no damn foul. And who the hell are you? There we go. Yeah, baby. Oh, how sweet was that reverse? He almost makes it look easy. <laughs> almost is right. But that took some real skill. You and I know that. Snip that highlight clip immediately. We'll be seeing that one for a while. Here is Z Sting. The Bulls getting the bucket. Five on the clock. Yeah, you don't like that straight jacket D to you. Shoots. Boston again. I had to say if Mikhail got that damn rebound. You really want to avoid contested attempts. Now with the inside in the Celtics game. It's off. Get the rebound. Yes. Over to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. Now this young Michael Jordan has a lot of tools in his bag. The first thing the Celtics want oh my God. to do is stop straight line drive. Guys have to rotate over and the damn space that you have to like make that shot is so small. That should be our ball. How the hell is it their ball? He has the jump shot ability of Jerry West. Why the hell is it that the damn green bar for his shot is so small? Look at this. Miss again because of that tiny ass sliver of green you have to hit. Ah, come on. I can maybe get the 63 points, but Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet for what the hell? The game moved me. 
Like, watch, my character slides to the left, like, just randomly. Well, not really. It's just he did this weird spin. I've never seen an animation before. Like, he was getting pushed. See how his, like, legs are moving backwards? Larry Bird, his legs are moving backwards, but he, like, spent while he was being pushed away. Oh boy. They only have 15. Yeah, that's that's not enough. Nowhere close to enough. I gotta get at least like 17 per quarter. And like two assists. Oh my gosh. It's like they look for contact. Larry Bird freaking scares me. Because he's the X factor in this game. If, if he goes, if he starts going off, it's going to be a nightmare. Come on, man. Ah, how the hell did he get the reap the steal back? Okay, this is starting to become garbage. I have no idea how they were. What are you doing? Foul, foul. Uh, that was a foul. On defense at six foot eleven, Corzine is absolutely a shot blocking threat and a good rim protector. And during the season, Boston took five of the six meetings. I got 19 points. I got a was beating just about everyone at that rate. There we go. Come on, come on, man. Stop trying to look for contact. They run straight into the fucking defenders. Oh, man. Well, I need some assists too. Go to the somebody, do move, do something. God damn. Nobody is moving anywhere. They're just standing there. Oh man, this is why I would rather have like a mode where I just play with my character by itself. Like if I just play with Jordan by himself. Kind of like a my career game, except you just control Jordan. Because when you control the whole team, you got to like direct him a lot more. Come on, man. Give me those shots. They are not calling fouls. But if I do some ticky tack reach in, they'll call a foul on that. Oh, 
Here's Johnson. Passes it to Bird. Six to shoot. Hands it from downtown. Bird's got five. And Mike, the Celtics, as you said, so dominant at home. And that home record has everyone in the East nervous about playing them. The Celtics can make the most out of a home court advantage. Ah, Hard fuck. Anybody taking many games here. Celtics trail by five. On the wing burst. To the inside. Yes, I just suck when it comes to no good from Mikhail. jump shots. Here's Chicago. Michael Jordan on the wing. Is by Give me the foul, man. What the hell is that? But they'll call fouls on that shit. He's on his way to another monster game scoring tonight. Seconds for Paris. Mikhail finds Johnson. Ames against Jordan. Ames the pass to Walton. Two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. It's going to be on Michael Jordan. Oh man. Come on. I did not aim at him. The circle was under Jordan. Michael Jordan on the wing. Why are you going away? Come on, can you make it please? There we go. How many points do I only have twenty one points? This is I don't have enough time. I have to make this a, a full 48 minute game. Because I can barely get 63. There's no way I'm going to be able to get 63 and 6 assists. I just don't have enough time. That's Oakley. I don't know what I was thinking on that one. That's Charles fucking Oakley. How the hell did he catch? Why was that not stolen? What happened? Oh, I wasn't next to it. Stop with the... What the hell? Get your ass back here. Bird outside. That big ass ain't guard no fucking guards. Led them the pass to Bird. That one's in. Only his fourth make against nine total shots. Solid body control. Bird not allowing the D to throw him off. Left side banks. Back to Jordan. at the numbers for Larry Bird this season like 25 10 and 7 I mean numbers that he I'm gonna have to put this shit back no I'm gonna have to restart it now nah, I'm gonna go put it on semi pro it's just the jump shots are like it's it's so fucking weird like and the Bulls are in dire need to even on semi pro the jump shots are normal but then we as soon as you raise it up just one more notch it's like they become Damn near impossible. And I'm not sure why it's doing that because I play my career mode on pro. Yeah, like that. Boom. I don't know why like it's easy to shoot like that, but then as soon as I raise the difficulty one more notch, it's like the jump shots become impossible. What the fuck? Loose and taken away by Johnson. Danny Ames on the wing, defended by Macy. Here's Ames. The shot, no good. 
and Chicago will go the other way with it. And Jordan with 49 points the last game. No, that's Charles Oakley. No. That's off. And at 10, no good by Chicago. Defense backing off there, knowing the big range. Come on, go over there. What? I don't know why the game, like, tried to force me to double team like that. McHale against Porzing. And stolen by Jordan. And here's the fast break. Jordan leading the way. I hope I make that. So, I don't know. Again, I don't know why the game made me, like, go there and stop. I was trying to go around him and do a layup. Nice man. Here's Gervin. Ah, come on. Come on, George. Jordan inside. What the hell was that? Fade away. And there's Michael Jordan. The assist by Gervin. Jordan's got six. Excellent job surveying the floor that time by Gervin. Recognize what many points do I have? Six. How much time is left? Four minutes. This one to stay close. Maybe try something different. Couldn't hurt at this point. Got a piece of it. Get it. Jordan with the ball. I need this assist. Picking him up. And Clark hears something that no team has been able to do. Slow down the Celtics front court. Well, there's just so much talent. Actually, too much talent at every position to be able to plug all the holes. They hurt you at both ends of the floor, too. Bird, Mikael, Paris, all elite players. I think someday all three will be in the Hall of Fame. Come on, man. That was con that should have been contested. Damn it. <laughs> he didn't even release the ball. Why is basketball not as popular as football? I'm guessing football just has deeper roots. Basketball is a much newer sport than football is. Well, I passed the ball. I pushed the fucking pass button a long time ago and he did not pass it at all. Oh, he got that. Larry got that. Oh, he don't. Run, run, run it, run it, run it, run it, run it, run it. Run it. There you go. You got that. Different defenders on Michael Jordan, and Mike ultimately he got a little fatigue, but not before he put up 49. One of the assistant coaches with Chicago said about Jordan. He's got the jump shot ability of a Jerry West and the ability to go to the hoop of a Julius Irving. Pretty good people to be compared with. Phenomenal comparison. I love that. Ah, fuck. Damn it. I thought I was going to get switched to Jordan. They switched me to the other dude. I gotta get these damn shots up, man. It's only two minutes. I only got eight points. I gotta get to at least like seventeen. That's the only problem is I'm not good with jump shots on this game yet. Like I'm not good with jump shots at all. 
And I say on this game, it's like there is no in between. You have to either get a green release or you miss. There's no in between at all. I hate when you try to steal the ball and he taps and it goes out of bounds. Like, it goes straight out of bounds. No matter how the damn angle should be, it just... Uh. Ah, come on, man. That should have contested the hell out of that. There we go. That's how you drive. I don't know why he doesn't do that more often. But half the time I tell him to do that and he'll like stop and pull up or do something stupid. That's not a foul. Why was he so far out? Why did Jordan step so far away from his man right there? Come on, man. Cross over. That's off. No good off the back of the rim. Uh, so it's the Celtics now. Pass it to Wedman. And he lays it straight in. Wedman's got five points so far. Attacking in the painted area. Clearly, that was their game plan coming in. And here's Jordan outside. That's a sick field goal today. 15 points. Come on. At least try to get one more. Why the hell? Why did my big man come out and try to double team? I'm just lucky that the quarter was ending because they could have easily got the rebound on that because our big man just abandoned the damn paint completely. I got 15 points, two assists. Doing decently, I guess. For the Bulls this series is to try and slow things down. The Celtics want to get into an up and down game. Makes sense with all the weapons. Why is he not drop stepping? On the wing. That should be in. And he hits the jumper for two. Jordan's got the opening field goal of the second quarter for the Bulls. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for Boston. Bird out there with McKay. Then it's Parrish. Then there's Johnson, and it's Ainge in the shooting guard position. That's the Boston Five. Here's Parrish. Okay. That shot off. Oakley with some nice deep. Come on. Chicago leading by six. Outside, Jordan. I didn't try to. I'm lucky I made that. I did not try to release that. Come on, Jordan, go. There we go. Nice drive. Come on. Ah, damn it. The game did not let me get that steal. Over Oakland. They get 
Our big man is just like abandoning the damn paint completely. Three. I need at least 30 something. 30 plus, at least. I mean, I'm guessing the reason why Americans like, oh, come on, basketball and American football more than soccer is because those are our sports. That's all I can guess. There we go. That was a Jordan S dunk. See, that's what I'm talking about. This, these are the type of dunks that I need. These are the type of dunks Michael Jordan would actually do. Need more of those, less of the cradles and free throw line dunks. He still made that. Almost got the ball stolen. Everyone in the East nervous about playing them. The Celtics can make the most out of a home court advantage. There we go. Anybody taking many games here. One more assist. Putting in the work trying to build this lead out because in the NBA, no lead is safe. Oh man, that's Robert Parrish. You should be able to get that steal. Come on, Jordan, go. As the Celtics still looking for an answer to Michael Jordan. And you might see more double teams and triple teams at the rate he's scoring. He's on his way to another monster game scoring tonight. Ball's not loose and stolen by Jordan. There's too many cradle dunks like that. He's got that ball. Way too many cradle dunks. Go to the basket. What are you doing? I don't know why he didn't go to the basket. He ran at a damn three-point line. I don't know what Gervin, uh, George Gervin's three-point numbers were at this time, but I'm willing to guarantee he's not a sharpshooter, so I don't know why the hell he's going to the three-point line for score 33 good doing good more cradle dunks they make him do a cradle dunk all the damn time I only think Jordan did a cradle dunk maybe four times in his entire career But 2K have him doing that shit once or yeah, like once a quarter. So far, nothing has worked. You can see the frustration is mounting, and because of this, their offense has been sputtering. Oh, yes. That was nice. Gotta like how Jordan keeps his focus. Let's 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 run that ad. Yeah, but I mean, that's all I can really guess. Like, it's because they're American sports and 
Americans tend to be the, I want to say the best at it, but like, those are sports we dominate in, so I guess that's, it's not so much the sport itself, it's more of like, we dominate in that sport, that's why we like it. If America gets like a, a team of players that dominates in soccer, soccer would probably become a popular sport. Oakley, you know I had that rebound. That was fucked up. That was lucky. He probably shouldn't have made that. That four assists. It's on the second quarter, so I can get maybe one assist per quarter if I wanted to space it out. Oh, boy. Ah, right, come on. Johnson goes in. He dishes it to McHale. There we go. Stolen by Jordan. Takes it inside. Oh, nice one. Jordan's got 41. And you know, Jordan loves muscling in through contact. Takes a lot of pride in overcoming all. Damn, McHale, you ain't have to fake me out like that. And through the first half, a pretty lopsided affair. Disrespectful, very disrespectful. Soon to follow, right here on 2K Sports. A view of the Charles River, not far from where we are, Boston Garden, and getting ready for the second half. Girls have been doing the same damn halftime break for, since forever. Second half of play, getting going here in Boston. You look at the firepower of this Boston team. Three all-stars in Berg, McHale, and Parrish. And this core has been together for their latest title runs. And now, let's go to D.A. Thanks very much. Now, we know about Larry Bird's determination at certain points. Ah, but fuck. Michael Jordan it's missed. Had some of those same qualities. He missed 64 games this season. Yes. Step out of bounds, Larry. Didn't want him to play anymore. But he With your big-ass banana boat now, feet. Citing his love of the game clause that's in his contract. Him to play whenever he wants, and he said, I'm going to play basketball. Ah, damn it. I thought I was going to go in. He's back on the floor. Guys, David, thank you. It's a great story. Michael loves to play the game, Mike Perdillo. And he rarely seems to get tired. He's a great big phony. He doesn't have the normal fatigue at this time of year. So the Bulls five right now. Oakley is out there at Corzine. Then it's Jordan. Then it's ah, damn it. Almost got a backcourt on that one. And the Celtics core club won in 1984 and returned to the finals again last season. And I think for the ah. team, anything short of a title, Kevin, is a bust. I mean, they know they're the team to beat, and they carry themselves that yes, way. Yes, nice so deal, Jordan. Talented team we probably ever seen in the league. I agree. McHale against Jordan. Get it back. Oh, pass the ball out. That's in. Yes. Also hate that damn follow through. This shit. When they have when they have your guy doing this, I mean, get on Jordan. This shit right here, I hate that. I hate it. So stupid. I wish they would let you choose what you do after your shot. Some players do the whole follow through thing, but some of them don't. Using his reach to knock it away. Here's Jordan, and Jordan slams it home. And the dominance of the Celtics, Mike, have shown again this season. It feels like it's their year. They know it's championship or bust for them. They figure they'll be tested on the way and could also have to deal with their old pals, the Lakers. But all season long, they have been the front runner, and that won't change until they're knocked out. They've got the target on their back for sure. Go to, go to the basket. Stop running to the three point line. This is the 80s. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. 
smart play that time by Jordan using the pump. Like this is the 80s. Why are they running to the three-point line when they're on a fast break? I don't get it. The developer said that they were going to, like the developer said that they were going to be much more like true to the way the game was played in the older eras. Seemed like that was bullshit. What's good? Uh, is it Atierna? Ah, shit. Oh, he made it. Oh, my God. Was not expecting that at all. That was Charles Oakley. If anybody had a situation where it was like green or bust, I would assume it would have been him. There we go. Get that bully badge in there. <laughs> bully, baby. There we go. I need some assist. I uh, wouldn't let me go and try to get that pass in lane. That misses off the backboard. And the D got super lucky he didn't drain that one. And this is this is your assist, man. Ah, who the hell is he throwing to? Now, Jordan. What an incredible scoring display he has put on tonight. And here's Bird. All these cradle dunks is annoying. Coming out of halftime, they're on an absolute tear. And I don't know what was said in that locker room. Like the cradle dunk was Jordan's dunk, but he only did it a couple of times his entire career. Seeing him do it like eight times in one game is just like... It's like somebody that knows a little bit about Michael, but don't know like shit about his actual game. There you go. Bam. There we go. That's my sixth assist. Got the assist. Now I just got to get the points. Come on. Parrish cleaning it up for his team using his length to protect the play and get them the basket. Here's Jordan. That's in. Again, Chicago. Got 55. In that 1984 draft class in the NBA. And the talent is at all positions. Great guards, forwards, and of course, Hakeem as a center. Could go down as one of the best draft classes in a long, long time. You are so right. Mikhail. To Johnson. Ainge kicks to Johnson. And here's Bird from the arc. Offensive rebound. He's out there just forcing it. Terrible mindset. 
upset to have with the way he shot so far. Yes, baby. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. Pretty good display of strength by Jordan there. Absorbed the contact and still able to nail the shot. Some changes for Boston. Walton's checked in for Parrish. Wedman comes in for Danny Ainge. And it's Easting in for Johnson. Here is Easting. Guarded by Paxton. That's steal. There we go. Sorry, Gervin. I got to get Jordan's points. And here's Jordan outside. And my dead score puts Michael Jordan even with Elgin Baylor. The great Elgin Baylor. Most points, Mike, ever in a playoff game. And to think, this is just Jordan's second year in the league. The sky's the limit for him. Give me that. Oh, quarter's over. Shit. Mm. And coming up as soon as we return from break, the fourth quarter gets underway. Ew, you watch Purge movies? Yuck. Again, I will judge you for that. You watch Purge movies, unironically. There we go. That's that 63. But as you said, he looks locked in now with no holds barred on his game. No limit. The fucking announcers were talking when I got my 63rd point, so now I missed the commentary they were supposed to say. That they're supposed to say something when I got that 63, but they missed it because they were talking about some other bullshit beforehand. Oh, what the hell was that? They keep talking when I score. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. And they were sitting there talking the whole time about irrelevant shit, so I missed the commentary of what, uh... How the fuck? Turn around. Oh, boy. I'm pissed off they missed the damn commentary. I wanted to hear what they were going to say when I got my 63rd point. What the hell? Why did he go up so slow? See, another issue with this game is a lot of times your your character, your teammates are completely unaware of like the situation they're currently in. Like you know, there's defenders all around you. You're right under the basket. If you're gonna go up, go up fast, quick. Why are you going up so slow? Like you're He went up like he was the only one there. I think I scored 69. Yeah. I got Jordan's career high. 
terrific fit. Here's Macy. Good, and the assist goes to Jordan. Jordan's got his seventh assist here tonight. What concentration from Macy. Impressive basket. Third foul. Kyle Macy. Third personal foul. Second team foul. I mean, I know that, like, horror movies are, like, there's a lot of cheesy-ass horror movies out there. So you kind of have to suspend your disbelief. But Purge, for me, just comes off as extremely stupid. The, like, the entire premise, I'm just like, I can't get into it. It makes no sense. Like, that seemed like some shit that a college kid would write and be like, oh, man, this comes, this is so deep. Like, it's really not. Who the hell is that? Point guard. He's the initiator. Seasting passes to Wedman. Here is Seasting. And now here's Jordan pushing. <laughs> you hear the guy in the background. Seriously? You should look to take that break. And that's exactly what they did. Transition defense is normally not set up. Passes it to Vincent. Man, get out of here. I'll be damned if I'm going to get cooked by a dude in a mullet. Well, it's it's more so it's just a dumb movie. Like for twenty four hours, all crimes are legal. And it's like so you mean to tell me that if crime became legal, the very first thing everybody would do is become serial killers? Really? Nobody's just gonna be like, you know what? I'm about to just go to the store and just grab a bunch of groceries and shit. I'm about to go over and like just steal a bunch of like no nobody's thinking that like right, i'm about to go grab some groceries or something like, everybody becomes a damn serial killer i'm gonna get a mask and i'm i, I got all these ideas of how i'm gonna murder people like no that's not how humans work like there's more to it than just law that prevents us from murdering somebody if like if if murder became legal tomorrow i'm not gonna go and murder somebody just because it's legal like that makes no sense Am I much of a horror fan? Eh, it depends. Honestly, I prefer horror games much more than I prefer horror movies. That's off. There we go. Come on. There we go. Who is he passing to? I didn't tell you to pass to him. There we go. Give me that bully. That bully. Seasting passes to Wedman. 
And like I said, it's not bad enough that they become murderers, but they become like psychopathic fucking Jason Voorhees murderers. Like you get a mask and you start doing creepy shit, like skipping down the road, singing fucking nursery rhymes and shit. How the hell you picked the ball up? Pulls it from the elbow, and he hits the jump shot. Smooth as silk. MJ with one of the best pull-up jumpers you'll ever see. Pass to Wedman. Here's Vincent. Now the pass to Kite. Here is Zesting, guarded by Jordan. The end the drought. And amazingly, the Bulls might have come into Boston and gotten a win. Great performance. Hit him 103 to 37. <laughs> See, that's the problem with the sliders. I don't know what's up with it. Like I said, if you have it on pro, it's like the game gets a lot harder. Now, it wouldn't be as hard if I had, like, if I was better trained with shooting. Like, if I was better at shooting, it wouldn't be as hard. I st I'm still getting used to that. But just the fact that I can beat these teams by, like, 70 on semi-pro, but then on pro, it's like, I can probably still beat them, but it's, like, uh, by a couple points. Like, why is the gap so wide? <laughs> and I'm not about to sit here and, like, adjust freaking, um, I'm not about to sit here and adjust the uh, sliders and stuff. That's too much goddamn work. All right, next game is 88. Uh, All-Star game? Star of Stars. Yep, East All-Stars versus West All-Stars. One of my favorite games to watch. Michael Jordan was a beast this game. But real quick, I'm going to take a quick restroom break. I will be right back. And when we come back, we'll be jumping into the Eastern Conference games. Now, again, I'm going to complete the Jordan Challenge. Now, it might not be today, but I'm going to do all the Jordan Challenge things on stream. And after that, then I'll decide what other games I want to play. But this is the current plans for the next few live streams. It shouldn't take no more than maybe two or three live streams to complete all these, but... Just giving you guys a heads up. Anyway, I will be right back.
Hopefully you all were able to grab some snacks or something. Um, I still don't like the way the chat looks. It looks so stretched out. I shouldn't have messed with it the last time, but it's whatever. Um, I, I got to fix the stream around anyway. Maybe by Thursday it'll look a little bit different. I don't know. But we will be continuing with this gameplay with... Oh, what? Oh, it doesn't show me. Well, what do I get? All right, so for my career, I get the Jordan University jersey. A Jumpman gold necklace, which looks okay. And a Jordan calf sleeve, which is cool. I don't play my team, so I don't give a damn about those things. Win game, score 40 points, grab 8 rebounds and 3 assists. That shouldn't be too hard. That's the hardest thing usually is the rebounds. Kareem! Second greatest player of all time. I'm so surprised they got Kareem to do this because normally he doesn't really do things like this. But it's nice that he did. Like I said, Kareem, to me, second greatest basketball player of all time. Nobody wants to see your pits, Larry Bird. Um, what else was I about to say? Oh, yeah. Train with Bruce Lee. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. A Bruce Lee protege. So that's only extra points. Where does Kobe Shaq and did you mean to okay, I say did you mean to misspell LeBron? Uh rank on my greatest of all time list. See I've already said my top ten list is Michael Jordan's number one, Kareem is number two, Magic Johnson's number three. Uh, Will Chamberlain is number four. Larry Bird is number five. Uh, Kobe Bryant is number six. And then that's when it gets the uh, dicey because I'm I have either LeBron or Tim Duncan on that next spot. And then I have Shaq after that. And then I have Hakeem Olajuwon. I think wrapping up my tenth spot if that was ten. But I used to have LeBron at number three. But after this last season with the 2020 season, and he didn't go into the last game of the season at all, despite the fact that that was supposed to be the game that determined whether or not they would get to the playoffs, the fact that he didn't even play in that game made me know that I misjudged him. I thought after 2016, LeBron like completely got rid of any type of passiveness he previously had before it was like LeBron don't have that killer instinct he don't got that dog in him I thought 2016 would be his coronation of becoming like that type of player because he overcame like the like crazy odds to, to get that championship and I thought okay you win that nothing should make you intimidated ever again after winning that championship but I was wrong so I had to knock him back down some more points. Larry Bird. By 1988, Larry Bird did not look like this. <laughs> they need to have a second face for Larry Bird. 
like the like prime Larry Bird, which looks like that, and then older Larry Bird with the shorter hair and no mustache. Moses Malone, easily for me the most underrated basketball player of all time, or underrated NBA player of all time, Moses Malone. Jordan got the threes on, got them Air Jordan threes on. Who the hell is that? That's Mike Fratello? No. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Greatest of all time list for WWE? That's a bit tougher. It depends on what you're asking for. Are you talking about the most, uh, like the greatest, um, like impactful wrestlers of all time, or are you just talking about like my favorite wrestlers? Because because WWE is professional wrestling, which is predetermined, you can't really do a greatest of all time list because it really depends on how the booking goes. So it's like, are you talking about the person that was the the biggest, most popular, or are you talking about the person that was the most technically sound, or are you talking about the one that you like the best? Yeah, for the most part, Magic Johnson is like retired. He don't like he don't really mess with too much. I mean, the most recent thing was like back in twenty twenty one. He was, uh, I think, president of basketball operations for the Lakers, but he stepped down a little bit after that. Like he didn't stay long at all. Trying to figure out like his moves. The hell was that? I think he made it. I don't know what the hell that was. Alright, see now I'm playing with Prime Jordan. What the hell? See, I'm so used to playing my career. Oh. That's off. But I definitely noticed Jordan has a better shot now. Still has hair, though. <laughs> Sadly. Still has hair. 1989 was the year that Jordan cut his hair off. So we're just one year away from ball Jordan, y'all. I'm surprised they didn't have you do like a dunk contest. I think they're going to give him as many touches as he needs to have a chance to do it. Ooh, that'll be fun. 
Oh, am I gonna make that? Oh, I made it. Oh boy, that was close. Ooh. Give me that. That dunk was so disappointing. <laughs> it was so disappointing. Let me see. Uh. My favorite wrestlers of all time. Um, well, my favorite wrestlers of all time, I'd say number one is probably Shawn Michaels. Number two is probably Kurt Angle. Uh, number three is probably The Rock. Number four, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Number five, uh, maybe Bret Hart. It's not so much that I talk about dudes losing their hair a lot. It's just that normally the people that I'm talking about are people that are known for being bald. <laughs> Here's English. Down low, Elijah Watt. See, I don't mind bald at all if you have the head for it. I would cut my head bald if I had the head for it. I have a very like, like my 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 skull, like not skull, but my cranium, it's kind of short, so it kind of makes my hair look kind of stubby, and then I have like this roll back here on the back of my neck, and I like look up and just like flips out like this. See if I can get rid of that, and if my head was a bit taller, <laughs> I think that I would like just I would have been gone bald. That was a waste of a possession. I don't know why the hell I did that. Why is Jordan's dunk so like weak looking? <laughs> Gotta give him some more height on those, some more distance. Did Isaiah Thomas just punch? Look at what? I could have sworn that was going to be a layup. The hell was that? Was that a logo dunk? Was that them trying to make Jordan do a logo dunk? Really? Yeah, they made him do a logo dunk. Jordan never did this dunk in his career, ever. Why are... Why are they so fascinated with the logo dunk? Like this was th this was from a photo shoot. Jordan did this pose in a photo shoot. He never once did a logo dunk in real life ever. See, I'm very picky when it comes to both Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant. I'm very picky about those two uh, players' signature styles because I'm 
so invested in them. So it's like if I see something that like doesn't fit, I'm just like it just takes me out of the immersion completely. Oh, that should have been blocked. Oof. I wanted him to dunk it, but he he ran to the three point line, which is not what Michael Jordan would do. Why is Isaiah punching? <laughs> Isaiah Thomas is like punching all the damn time. Hakeem Olajuwon, the most skilled big man of all time. Oh yeah, I got 22, two assists, no rebounds. So like I said, the rebounds is going to be the tough one. Man, who the hell are you throwing to? So that was a Jordan dunk. That was nice. That gracefulness. Yeah, that was a very Jordan-esque dunk. Oh boy. They recover. And so it's the East also. In command with a 16 point lead as the buzzer sounds. And their ability to get points in the paint has made all the difference in this one. And we'll be right back after this. I mean, another thing with uh, me shaving my head is I've already told you guys my. My skin is too sensitive for it. Like I can't, I can't touch it with a razor. And even if I'm using like clippers, I can only like really cut certain spots. Ah, bastard! You took them my rebound from me. He didn't even get it. He just tipped it away from me. Was that not an assist because the dude... T oh, it was. Okay. I was like, was it not an assist because he tapped it? Uh, see, the problem with... The problem with trying to get these rebounds is they have Jordan playing. Let me see. I mean, why do they got Danny Ainge in small forward? That makes no sense. I'm going to put Jordan at small forward. Get him closer to the basket. Like, I don't know why Danny Ainge was in small forward. That makes no sense. Four on the shot clock. 
Ah, come on. That was a nice cut, the way he switched direction like that. I need those rebounds. There we go. The East All Stars go the other way with it. To the paint. Jordy, the pass to you. And here's Jordan. Come on, give me that. Damn it. The West grabs the miss. And Clark, not easy for these coaches to put their stamp on the game. Only a one hour practice yesterday to get acquainted and move to success. And you know, Kevin, it's not about necessarily. Who am I playing with? Yeah, like I said, if I touch anywhere around my neck or like this, like right above my ears, that region, I'll get a lot of razor bumps and razor burn. It happens every single time I cut my hair. Or if I, like I said, if I use a razor, so like even just touching it with a razor will cause that to happen. There we go. Give me that. How many points I got? 33. I'll easily get the points. The question is the rebounds. I need... I need about three rebounds per quarter. Damn it. Six points. He could very well become the leading scorer in the history of the All Star game. Isn't that phenomenal? They call him captain for a reason. He is truly the leader of this entire NBA. Yes, sir. Malone against Jordan. Just tried to shoot. Malone can't hit. Brad Doherty, you keep taking my damn rebounds. I'm about to sub your ass out. I only got two rebounds. I need at least three. Come on, man. Where was Jordan at? Where the hell is Jordan? Oh, there he is. For a second, I thought they took him out. There you go again. Jordan had, he hit his point mark. Oh, never mind. Oh, they stopped talking because Clyde did his bullshit dunk. Who the hell? Not athletic enough. Well, how about this? He's playing in the seventh straight All Star game. So much for being. I gotta give Larry Bird some shots. Coin last night at the Legends game, trying to fill it up 
tonight as well. Timeout called here for West Coast. Like I said, I need to get uh, Jordan some rebounds, man. To call a timeout to try to settle everybody down and get back into their offensive rhythm. They've been coughing up the rock an awful lot. West Coast for the West. Abdul Jabbar has checked in for Elijah. Worthy comes in for Malone. Shannon Johnson in for Tricky. Matt just let them get some open shots out here. I got to get by the basket. We've got 128 left in the first half. Rebound by the Ah, come on. Malone's got four rebounds now tonight. Jordan passes to Rivers. That's off. Jordan, what? The game keep putting me in bad positions. Like, I can't get rebounds because by the time the rebound's coming down, by the time the rebound's coming down, Jordan's already, like, on the other side of the court. Yeah, that re well, Jordan didn't break the record this night. He only had 40. But um, the record has since been broken. Come on, give me that. Damn it. Damn, damn, damn. See, it's tough to get rebounds because you got some all-time greats out here. There we go. I got my third rebound, though. But you got all-time great rebounders out there like Moses Malone and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. It's tough. Patrick Ewing and... Oof. You would have Charles Barkley if he was actually in the game. I just realized I have 44 points and a half. Only half the game's gone by, and I already got 44 points. Why the hell? Near the three point line, it's Thomas, top of the key jumper, no good. <sighs> On the court for the West All Stars, they've got Malone. Lieber is out there with Magic Johnson. Ben you got Jordan over here guarding Elijah Wan. Jordan, Jordan with the block on Elijah Wan. Wow. Oh no. Almost shot that. Man, they would not let me get around anybody. I to say. What's up, Steven? Oh, you know you gotta get you got you know you gotta set Nico. up. Damn it. I threw it to the wrong guy. Shoots 
Jackson Cobra reliever. The East All-Stars check on two more. And Clark, with three officials working games, do you think that'll result in more fouls being called, more eyes on the ball? They can pick up a lot more, certainly, with more guys out there. Yeah, you know, I think, Kevin, it might be the case early on with the yes. official, but over time, it'll smooth itself out. Score rebounds. You know, some things you could get away with in the past, maybe not so much with three officials out there. Hey, it's as plain as pound cake. That was Dominique. Why didn't he dunk that? You got Neek right under the basket, and you ain't have him dunking? Go ahead, Magic. Take that shot. What the fuck? Damn it. There we go. That's how I, uh, he did a spin shot right there, but it's like it's iffy. Sometimes he does it, sometimes he doesn't. Damn it! I'm trying to get rebounds. Are you serious? He had him in the air and he still got blocked. Oof, what? That was dumb. Playing for the Utah Jazz. Tonight, he's wearing number seven to honor the great Pete Maravich, who himself was a three-time All-Star with the New Orleans Jazz. I tell you what, the peripheral vision, the court awareness of... I was not aiming at him. Always knows when one of his teammates is open. Jordan against Drexler. Jordan kicks to Wilkins. On Wilkins. In off the Wilkins has got six points in the quarter. Well, Dominique runs into some tight defense, but sticks with his shot and manages to push through. And you know, most of these guys are accustomed to having their team's offense built around them. It's an adjustment for them now to figure out who's going to get the rock most of the time. Johnson, a wide open look, kept alive. Elijah See, this is what I'm talking about. It's in. It's almost impossible to to win this because like getting rebounds with Jordan in this situation is a fucking nightmare because there's just too many good rebounders in this game so that like the game will not give me a, a chance at getting these fucking rebounds the game what the hell was that See, it's almost like the game didn't want me to get the rebound. Like, I was literally getting pulled away. I was trying to walk towards the basket, but he started walking backwards. Like, I'm trying to get up close, and then he's, like, walking backwards. The game's making me, like, get away from the, the rim. Star reserve. Guys that start normally are the stars of their team. Now off the bench uh, on a team of stars. Kevin, excellent point. For players who are used to starting the game, probably... A rare experience coming in off the bench and trying to get it going, but I think these guys so enjoy being part of this. That's, that's what I mean. He's not going to get rebounds over people like Patrick Ewan and Akeem Olajuwon. Jordan against Olajuwon. Here's the teardrop. I hate these rebounding objectives because it's like it's too much to chance. First, you have to hope the person's going to miss. First, you got to hope they miss, and then you got to hope that you actually get the rebound. Who the hell is he throwing to? Well, I guess it could have been worse because in this game, Jordan also had four steals and four blocks. They could have asked me to get those. God damn it. The ball went right to him. Good shot. Not taking smart shots, forcing up a lot of low percentage jumps there. 
Well, I only got one minute. And they haven't, like, I only got one rebound. I'm only halfway to my goal and only got one more quarter left. Come on. Give me those rebounds. Come on, man. Give me some rebounds. I need some rebounds. I'm not trying to start this game over again just because of some fucking rebounds. Oh, man, man, man. Where is the point guard going? Bring your ass back here. What the fuck is that? I I was aiming at Jordan. Jordan way outside. Elijah Wan with the rebound. Elijah Wan's got five rebounds tonight. Rexford drives in, and that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. This is fucking crazy, man. You know what? I'm just gonna have to. I'm gonna have to do it. I'm gonna have to bring this down to rookie. Hopefully, hope they miss and try to get some rebounds, cause. Because right now, there's no chance I'm going to get this damn objective. I need some rebounds. I need some rebounds. I need some rebounds. I don't care about the cutscene. I don't care about the playback. I need rebounds. Give me rebounds. Stop putting me in positions where I can't get rebounds. Right, come on, that's my chance. Damn it! Ah, you fucking idiot! Ah, damn, I need rebounds, and the CPU keeps fucking stealing them. Come on, just let them take those shots. Fuck it. Let them take those damn shots. Uh, pass the ball. The clock's running. I fucking made that. I was not aiming to make that shot. I wasn't even looking at the meter when I was holding the button down. I was just hoping that Jordan would get under the basket. Why did he pass it? I pushed the shoot button. You know what? This is almost impossible. I don't know, like, what else I'm supposed to do. Just take the damn shot. I will give you the shot. There we go. That's one. I need three more rebounds. Now, there's no way to, like, make him go under the basket. He always, like, stays by the three-point line. You know what? Desperate times call for desperate measures. I'm going to substitute Jordan and put his ass at center. I'm going to take Brad Dory and take him completely out. There. I gotta get 
Jordan some damn rebounds. Oh man, I need some rebounds. Why the fuck? Come on, Jordan, come down. God damn it! <laughs> come on, man! Now all of a sudden, when I'm not trying to make a shot, all of a sudden I can't miss. Come on. Take that shot. Take the shot. Take the shot. What are you doing? Take the shot. I'm boxing out. I'm boxing out. Come on, Jordan. Oh my god, he's not even trying to get around the damn box outs. There we go, come on, that's six. Get the fuck out of here, man! How am I making these shots all of a sudden? I couldn't make a shot to save my fucking life. Now, all of a sudden, I'm knocking out shots without even looking. I'm going to take the shot. Take the shot. Take the shot. Take the shot. There we go. That's seven. Come on, one more. Are you fucking serious? How the hell am I knocking down these shots when I'm not, I'm not in the green? I'm intentionally shooting them too late or too early, and I'm still knocking them down. Come on, baby. Fucking God damn it. Come on, get, get underneath. Come on, Jordan. You need one more rebound. Just one more rebound. Just one more rebound. I'm gonna play some tight D on him. Play what the fuck is he doing? Oh my god, the game is pissing me off. The computer made me get away from him. I was right here the whole time. I did not tell him to back up. The game literally made me walk away from the basket. Oh my gosh. I don't even care. Just let him get a shot up. I just need some rebounds. Or one more rebound. Just need a rebound. Got two minutes. Give me a rebound. Motherfucker. <clears throat> don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Let me just get this goddamn game going. I need a rebound. I don't even care. Just... just are you fucking serious? I didn't even jump for the jump ball. <sighs> he didn't go for the damn ball. What the fuck is he doing? He's not going for the rebounds. Are you serious? And they put me back on, oh my God. Get your ass out of here. But this is, this is so fucking annoying, man. I'm just trying to get one rebound. They're intentionally keeping me from getting a rebound. I only got one minute. 
Jordan, get your ass, get your ass under the basket. Get your ass under the basket. What are you doing? Move. He didn't even try to get around his fucking guy. He just stood there. Come on, man. God damn. Come on. Let him take that shot. 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 Oh my fucking god. He Fifty six percent and he knocked the damn shot down. If Jordan doesn't get this rebound, I'm I'm turning the stream off. I am. Um, I'm not gonna start this shit over again. Again, not even looking, and somehow he knocked the shot down. Where's my last chance? Last rebound. Come on. Last rebound. Last fucking rebound. Let him take that shot. Let him take that shot. Of course he fucking dribbled a clock out. Yeah, I'm done. I'm done. This stream is over. I'm not continuing with this shit. I am done with this stream. I'm not going to start this game over from the beginning.